everyone? Why do I look so dark and scary? What's wrong with me? I'm just standing intimidatingly. Ugh. Freaky. Anyways, a brand new update has just been released. So this is patch 0.25.0. Welcome to all of our new PC players who might have started today. Nice to see you all. Obviously, there's a ton of events going on right now to celebrate the PC release. We currently have a double heart event on from now until April 16th. So April 10th to April 16th. That means every heart gifted is doubled. Every heart received is doubled and every heart fragment sent to a friend or received is doubled. Uh, we also have a treasure cake bonanza, but it's double what they said it would be. We have 40 treasure cakes in every realm. That is nuts. Actually nuts. I earned 20 candles in just about 30 minutes today. That's crazy. So that will also be going on until April 16th. Pretty cool. I'll make a video on where they are every single day if you need help. Uh, we also have the Dancing Performer arriving pretty soon. They should be arriving on the 25th. First up though, tomorrow we are getting the Sassy Drifter. I know players are pretty excited to see the Dancing Performer al arrive at last. Um, for new players, I will have a guide on what traveling spirits are up probably tomorrow. So just stay tuned for that. It should explain everything. If you are a PC player, if you're on PC, on Steam, you can go into the event room here. I'm actually recording this on my iPad, so it's not visible to me. But if you go here, there should be a box or a crate filled with companion cubes from Portal. And you can buy these for 50 regular candles. So do so if you want to. It's a cool plushie to have on your back. It also has a pretty unique metallic thunking sound. None of the other plushies have that, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it'll also be a permanent item, so it won't go away at any point. It'll always be available for 50 regular candles. Another way that they are celebrating the PC release, which benefits absolutely everyone, is that the Journey Pack is available on every single platform. Every platform. This cute set comes with the Journey Cape, the Journey Hood, which is a hairstyle, and the Journey Mask. So cute, now everyone can dress like a little traveler. And this will be available permanently in the shop for every single device, regardless of what you play on. Now this outfit also has a special unique ability, and that is that we can do a journey call. Look at how cool it looks. Look at that, and I'm in the Isle of Dawn it just feels like journey. Now this pack is $24.99 USD, so it's a bit expensive, but it does also come with that unique call effect. All you have to do to use the call is to have the journey mask on and have your call set to the base game one. So the default when you're a moth, that call. And that will make it so that you can use the journey call at any time. So realistically, just the mask is needed, and the base game call has to be selected. You don't have to wear any other parts if you don't want to. But why wouldn't you want to? They just suit each other so well. The season of nesting is so close. It starts on April 15th. This season will focus on player-made creations and kind of making your own comfortable home. Everyone is going to get their own home for absolutely free. You also get a few furniture items when you start out. This is our brand new furniture shop, how beautiful it is. And then over here on this side is our season pass little furniture displays, little tiny showrooms. So this season is very much going to focus more on furniture than spirits and cosmetics. So if you're not too into the furniture aspect of it, no worries, you can always skip the season and save a ton of candles by getting the seasonal candles. This is just a big- what is this? Oh, it's a big owl! Whoa! This is just an example of something you can make. I just wanted to show a house, but that's pretty cool. Incredible, actually. Um, this isn't the actual house, of course. This is just a shared space, but I feel like players really do the best examples here because there's so many items available to use in the shared space. How cute, isn't it? And have the little bedroom, the Manta plushie on it. So this is kind of an example of what we can create when we get our home in the future. Not too far away. 
We'll get it very soon. Oh, oh, the owl's back. Hey. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no. And just up the road from our brand new furniture shop, we have this quaint little cafe, which I don't think it's quite open yet in the live version, but it's so adorable. We have some spirits gathering here every day. You can get our daily quest from them if you'd like to. Inside here is the actual cafe section, and I believe you can get some wax every day from the tea brewer. Pretty sweet, isn't it? It's really cozy, really well made. And from April 27th to May 17th, this becomes a cinema roll pop-up cafe. Yes, the little Sanrio puppy will be here. Tons of cosmetics will be here, just a few in-game currency ones, unfortunately. But uh, the cosmetics are pretty cool. Let's go through them. These are the in-game currency items. Unfortunately, there's only two of them. I really hope that maybe we'll be getting more because there's a lot of the actual in-app purchase items, but I suppose because they have Cinemarole's face on them, they might have to be paid. I'm not sure how it works. But we have two items. One is this teacup headband. It is a hair accessory, so we can wear it with all hairstyles. The second one is actually pretty cool. It is a cafe table we can place down. Pretty cute style, actually. Very uh, cutesy looking. And this is the first tea table we've had, other than, I guess, the one from uh, the Season of Remembrance. But this is the first actual tea table that's kind of more similar to the Days of Bloom tea tables that is a free item. So with this, you can sit down, chat with your friends, you can eat some of the little treats in the middle, you can drink some of the tea. Really cute. And with the uh, coloring of it, I think it'll stand out a lot in shared spaces and, of course, our new homes. So these are our two in-game currency items. Let's check out what is coming as an in-app purchase. First up, we have the cinema roll hair accessory, which just has little cinema roll on our head. It's pretty cute. This is $6.99 USD. You can wear it with any hairstyle, of course. It is unfortunate that all the actual cinema roll looking items are paid, but it's kind of what I expected when I saw them. I figured they would be, and the teacup and the cinnamon bun themed stuff would be free. So this is adorable. Super cute, of course. Let me put on some hair so I don't look quite so bald with this thing on me. And look at that. So precious. Adorable. All right, on to the next. Next up, we have a bundle item. This is the cafe bow tie and the cloud cape combined. Sweet little bow tie accessory on our neck. And, of course, this fluffy, fluffy cloud cape on our shoulders. Really cute, and of course, on the back, it has the little cinnamon roll, cinnamon tail. On the inside, I believe it is the same shade of blue as the bow tie. Very matchy-matchy. A good thing about this collab is because Cinerol is white and blue colored. It's going to match with so many cosmetics in the game. We have so many blue things, so many white things. I think there'll be a lot of cool combinations that we'll see. What's funny is as we flap, you can see that the tail glows for some reason. I think it looks hilarious. And then if we go into the clouds and recharge, the tail flashes. Let's go down and... Flash, 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 flash. Shiny. Bright. Ugh. Alright, our next items coming with this collaboration. This one is called the Cafe Combo, and it is another pack that has this hairstyle and also a hair accessory. I just want to show the hairstyle by itself first because I don't want them to get mixed up together. But here it is. Very swoopy and rounded. And then for the hair accessory, it has Cinema Roll's ears. Where is it? I'm looking through my spells. Here it is. Ta-da! With the little blue bows. Now I think I'm more into this one for just the, the dog ears. I think that'll be really funny to mix and match with other hairstyles. And in fact, that's what I'm going to do. Let's try it on with some other stuff. This is cute, but... Hang on. Maybe there's something in here. Maybe there's something neat that we can try. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of cute with Stewie's hair. Wait, it actually looks kind of good with things. Hang on. Hang on a second. Aurora? 
It does look funny with things that already have pigtails or braids, but... Oh, wait, that looks really good. What the... I'm gonna have fun looking through these. Yeah, I think people are gonna like mixing and matching with this one. It's pretty cool. You can be a little puppy. Oh, why is that so cute? Aw. Alright, that's enough. And the final item seems to be the Cinemoral plushie. Now this, of course, is cute. I keep saying cute, but what other word can you use? Precious. Little sleepy Cinemoral on a cloud on your back. It does apparently have a function that allows the owner and any friends they're holding hands with to see all the Cinemoral decorations in the cafe even after the event ends. Maybe we can try that now. Hang on. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Hang on, how do I do this? The patch notes say, looking at my computer, that I have to place it on the mantle. What is the mantle? Like, the counter? Let's see. No. Oh, there's a fireplace! I didn't notice that before. Okay, I know what a mantle is, guys, I promise. I just didn't know there was a fireplace, so I can place it. Oh yeah, I got a pop-up to place it here. On the bottom of my screen. Place it. Let's go. And there's a button I can press now. I have the UI off mode, so... I have to explain what's happening. And Cinema Roll! Hello! That's pretty cool. Oh. So you can always have the cafe this cute. And Cinema Roll can always be in the game. That's actually really adorable. Oh, and you can take photos with them, too. There's a moments camera in the middle of this room. Look at them. Oh, okay. That was strange. Kind of freaky. Well, that's cool. I didn't think anything would have this unique effect. And it's kind of neat that it's interactive, too. Like, I have to place it on the fireplace for it to work. Wow. Enjoying this. Very cute. Awesome. Back to the furniture shop, we are going to showcase some of the new features that have been added here. These are permanent fixtures, by the way. So the first one is that we now have some stone furniture collection that will always be available. And it rotates, I think, once a week. So you can see we have a rug and a shelf. On the other side, we had a bathtub and a stove. So it's going to be items that aren't here 24-7. You'll have to wait for them to come back, but they will be rotating and they are permanent. It's also cool how much we can interact with these new pieces of furniture. I know they're not gonna be for everyone, of course. Not everyone is very interested in the building aspect, but I think it's kind of cool nonetheless. We can buy them here from the shopkeeper. And I think there's over 50 something items that have been added, so there's a lot of stuff. You can wait and see what you would actually want to buy. Of course, it's super expensive for whatever reason, but it is meant to be the way they are explaining it in the patch notes, it's meant to be something that you have from start to finish of the game, like the base game constellations. It's meant to be something that you have to work towards if you want it. Otherwise, we do have these showcase items from the season pass, which are a lot easier to get, of course, if you have the season pass. And free players will get some items as well. <laughs> the posing, so funny. So if you are interested in the furniture building aspect of the season, there's the season pass, of course, which makes it a lot easier to create some cool things. And then over here, we have another permanent fixture. This is the nesting challenges. So these will always be available. They're not saying that you're meant to complete in one day, although I know a lot of players are going to. Like this first challenge here I have is to place 15 shared space spells. Yeah. At the very top though, we have some really cool furniture items. This is a closet you can wear on your back and you can place it everywhere and change your cosmetics at any time. This one here is a little mannequin that we can add to our shared space or of course our home. I'm just used to saying shared space. Um, this one is a instrument stand that we can add to our home as well to showcase our instruments or our cosmetics. These items will always be here and always be available, but they're kind of expensive. So there's nothing to save up for. 
Now, player creations have also changed a little bit. After you like one, you have the option to give a creation a heart. Um, this, of course, costs three candles. It's just like gifting a heart to a friend, except you can gift it to a complete stranger if you'd like to. It's kind of a neat concept because now with this new furniture, all of these new items coming, it kind of adds a little more incentive to make cool designs and things like that. The only downside is that they have removed the ability to get a heart from a certain amount of likes. So previously you'd get maybe 50 likes and you would get one heart after getting those likes. So this new heart gifting thing has kind of replaced that, which is kind of good in some ways because now you could get multiple hearts for one creation. Previously you could only get one heart if you got a certain amount of likes. Now maybe a group of players will play with your shared space or view something that you've done or Something like that, and maybe the entire group will gift you a heart, so you might end up with a lot more. It really depends. We'll have to see how it works. However, at this moment, they have put out a statement that it's currently bugged, so if you try and gift a heart, you'll get a server error. So for a little bit longer, hearts for likes are still active. So go like your friends' shared spaces and little creations while you still can, okay? Gift your buddies a heart for absolutely free. Well, what else? Let me look at this really quick. I'm just looking at my computer again. I'm so sleepy for some reason today, guys. Ugh. I'm gonna take a nap right after this. But before I do, just so everyone knows, especially the home space enjoyers, the traveling spirit will now be available in both the apiary village and the home space. So you don't have to come to the apiary village to unlock things and greet them and all of that. So classic home space enjoyers, rejoice. It's all good things are still going to be the way they always were. And then for my final mini update, the nine colored deer is different looking. Their rainbow pattern is now kind of lotus shaped. I'm really not sure why, I'm sure there is an actual reason. My guess is maybe for like copyright reasons, something like that, after the season has ended, but I don't really 100% know. I think it looks fine, it's a lotus shape, so that suits the theme of the deer still, so I'm not upset about it. And for the most part, that is it. That's, I'll leave the patch notes below if you want to read them yourself. That's all of the major stuff. No news on Days of Nature yet. I guess that will be in a future update, but we should expect some news on it somewhat soon. It's been tested and over in the beta already. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. I'm going to go sleep. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.